YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. So before we proceed to the transcoding part of the video, let me give you an overview of the process. So depending on what we're using to transcode, the setup might be slightly different, but we're always going to use Windows 10 with 32 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to use the same 4K movies so that each video can be compared with the others. Now, the reason we're going to use 4K movies is because it puts the most pressure on your Plex server. You see, your server can directly play tens of 4K movies. It can directly play tens of 1080p movies. It also can transcode tens of 1080p movies. But how many 4K movies can it transcode simultaneously? That's the question we are trying to answer in these videos. So a few things you should know is my ISP gives me one gigabyte download and also one gigabyte upload speeds. We purchased the Plex Pass so that we can enable hardware transcoding, meaning we're going to use a graphic card or the iGPU of the Intel CPU to do the transcoding of the movies. We are also going to use Google Chrome web browser. Now, the reason for using Google Chrome web browser is because of the tabs that Chrome dis displays. Now the tabs in the upper right will have a speaker icon. The speaker icon is significant because if it disappears, that means that our, one of our movies is buffering. Buffering means that we are hitting the limits of what our setup can actually handle. Now we are also going to focus in on HW info. The reason for that is that will allow us to pay attention to how many gigs of RAM we are utilizing during this process. Also, the total CPU usage, as well as the total iGPU usage. We also going to be able to see the total UPS load, which would let us know how much wattage we are utilizing during the whole process. We also going to be looking at the temperature, but that's not as important as the rest. Now, the 4K movie sizes will range anywhere between 9.9 .9 gigabytes all the way up to 54 gigabytes. All the movies are 4K 10 bit, but the first nine of them are also HDR 10. Now, out of all the movies, only two of them are actually Remux movies. Those two movies are Glory and Home Alone. I also need to mention that subtitles will be, will be off for this process. So now that we got all that out the way, let's proceed with the test. All right, y'all. So let's head. Let's go ahead and get this started. This is the 10400. This is the one I've been using since I set up this particular Plex server since about 2022. And it's utilizing the UHD graphics 630 iGPU. That is, I believe, the third best integrated graphics you could get from Intel. I believe it's the 770, 730, and then the 630, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Let me push this over to dashboard. All right, so we have Glory. Let's go ahead, let's go, let's go. Classic movie, come on, man. Denzel Washington crying on cue, how you gonna lose with that? Come on now. Morgan Freeman, they had the guy from um, everyone, what's the name of that movie? Ferris Bueller, whatever the name of that movie was, I can't remember, classic movie. Go ahead and force this. Sorry about that, let's go ahead and force this transcode. All right, check back in with the dashboard. All right, transcode started. All right, let's check in with the system real quick. All right, see, we got 32 gigs. We're utilizing about 5.5 megabytes, gigabytes of RAM at the moment. Total CPU usage, 15.4. Uh, and this is what's really doing all the work. The iGPU currently is doing all the work. So there we go right there. Uh, here goes the temperatures. That's not really an issue right at all. Uh, let's go down here and check on the total system. Total UPS load at the moment for the overall system is 68 watts. So we're going to pay attention to this. All right. We're not going to do it every time, but we're going to jump back in here probably at the third or fifth movie. So let's go ahead and keep it going. The Sixth Sense, come on now, classic movie. Classic, classic movie, Bruce Willis. You know, Bruce Willis having a few medical issues at the moment, you'll never see him in another movie again. So you gotta appreciate those movies 
that those classics that he gave us die hard and the sixth sense he has some other ones as well striking distance that was a real good one with the girl from what's her name sarah jessica parker i believe that's a classic movie as well with bruce willis all right so we forced the transcode so that's going that's good let's go ahead and jump into that third movie hocus pocus come on now classic classic movie well Hocus Pocus 1 was a classic movie when I was a kid. This is Hocus Pocus 2. I never really watched it. But there goes Sarah Jessica Parker right there. So that's who we was just talking about. She had a movie with Bruce Willis that was pretty good. I ain't watched this movie yet, but part one was a classic when I was a kid. You know, sooner or later, I'll sit down and watch this one. You went ahead and force that transcode. Boom, it's right there. So let's go ahead and check back in with the system real quick now that we have three movies up and running. All right, we up to 8.5 gigabytes of RAM. Um, UPS load, 75 watts overall. And let me see. All right, we're at 87 on the iGPU, jumping up to 96. So it's definitely doing a little bit of work there. So let's go ahead and get back to it. So let's jump into a fourth movie. All right, Home Alone, come on now. Classic, man. Macaulay Culkin, come on now. Classic movie when I was a kid, man. You couldn't lose with this. And it still ring off during the holidays. During Christmas, you could definitely throw this on. The kids of today will still appreciate it, no doubt. Let's go ahead and force that transcode. Make sure y'all pay attention to those volumes. If they go away, that means we're buffering. Come on now. That's four. Let me just make sure I don't have a limit on the transcodes. Hold on. Let me just make sure I don't have the limit on these transcodes real quick. Sorry about this. I'll probably cut this part out. Okay, it's unlimited. All right, I want to make sure. All right, so that's four movies right there going. Let's go ahead and jump into another one. Respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Aretha Franklin movie. Not really worth watching, to tell you the honest truth. But if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. Wasn't really all that. But let's go ahead and force that transcode. RIP to Aretha Franklin. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not really like a standout movie. You know how Ray with Jamie Foxx, you gotta watch Ray with Jamie Foxx. It's such a classic, but this one wasn't really a standout movie. So uh, we went ahead and forced that transcode. Let's check back in with the system because right now we have five 4K movies going at once. So let's go ahead and trans, you know, check back on the system. We jumped up to 99%. It's not really looking good. Uh, over here, we had 11 gigs of RAM. That's crazy. Um, temperatures don't really matter. We're at 97%, 100%. Ooh, yeah, that's not really good. Anytime you hit that 90, you know, that 100%, 99%, it's not really a good sign. So. Right now, we're currently at 75 watts jumping around totals, you know, the total UPS load, the total wattage of the entire system. So that's not bad. But if the IGP was hitting that, all right. So it is calming down a little bit, still jumping around. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what we can still do. Infinity War. Come on now. Classic, man. Thanos, one of the coldest, you know characters i ever seen on television point blank period i actually think it's between thanos and marlo from the wire the coldest characters i ever seen on television hands down just brutal man great movie great movie let's go ahead and force that transcode all right let's check back in let's check in the system right here hold on see all right it went ahead and transcoded all right make sure y'all check Y'all pay attention to these volumes. If they go around, if they go away, that means we're pushing our limit. So let's go ahead and start up one more movie. And then we're going to check back in with our system to see exactly what's going on. Terminator can't be mad at this one at all. They did a real good job with Terminator, man. They did not disrespect the series. I don't mind this movie at all. Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. Come on now. I grew up on these movies, man. They did not disrespect this series at all with this movie. So let's go ahead and force that transcode. Uh, 720p. Let's check back in with the dashboard. Let's see what's going on. 
all right right now it's direct streaming let's see if, is it gonna go through hold on now all right there go to the transcode there go to the transcode let's go ahead and check back in with our system real quick see what's going on all right we we got that 99 percent yeah, 99%. We got 13 gigs of RAM being utilized at the current moment. Um, The temperatures don't really matter. We had that 99.9. .9. It ain't really looking good here, buddy. All right, let's go down here. 79, 82 watts load loaded at the current moment. You know what I mean? That's pretty good, tell you honest truth. All right, 99%. That ain't really looking good. Uh, Let's see right here. I think we might be at our limits, but nothing is buffering right now everything is good at the moment so let's go ahead and try our hand let's go see if we could get to eight real quick let's see if we could get to eight maybe we could get to eight hold on sisu all right i ain't really i still ain't watched sisu yet i just went ahead and got it you know friends was talking about it they didn't even see it yet they was just talking about it, it looked good so sisu let's see how well it does Go ahead and force that transcode. Let's see if it could go through. Can we get it? Can we get it going? Because we was at 99%. Let's see. Can we get it going? And currently everything else is playing. Currently nothing is buffering. Oh, it's buffering. It's buffering. Sisu. Sisu, they did the transcode. They got the transcode through. But it was definitely buffering. Um, everything else is playing currently at the moment. So... Uh, everything else is playing at the moment so maybe it's not that bad hold on let's check back in with the system still at that 99.9 .9. this thing is a trooper man what's the wattage 82 percent all right total cpu usage a little 14 percent i ain't really doing 14 gigabytes of ram being used jesus christ when you get up there things start happening um let's see did anything start buffering currently it's looking good is it it don't look like nothing buffering it look like everything you know playing like it got to ah so might as well go ahead and try to do another one i don't think i don't think another one will hit but let's go ahead with ambulance let's see let's see maybe maybe this is stronger than i thought it was hold on a second let's go ahead start up ambulance this wasn't good and it wasn't bad it was just something to watch i can't really cosign it. it's not something if you're bored and got nothing else to do eh, you could check it out it's not really nothing crazy but let's go ahead and force that transcode let's see if it go through let's see if it go through man it ain't really looking good out here in these streets hold on uh did something stop hold on it didn't go through yet let's go down let's see where is it at oh they got ambulance right there all right so it's buffering the transcode just went through uh, it, all right it just started playing all right it just started playing hmm and nothing else stopped yet it's kind of odd I'm not gonna lie to you. But it's 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 playing. Nothing else stopped. So we up to nine movies. Well, let's let's try a hand. Let's see if we can go to another movie. Let me just check in with all of them. That's playing, that's playing, that's playing, that's playing, that's playing, that's playing. That's playing, that's playing, that's playing. Everything is right. Everything how it's supposed to be. Go ahead and try another movie, man. Let's try a hand. Maybe we maybe we get like oh no. This is the nun. She might scare these trans. Oh, ambulance just buffered. Ambulance just buffered. The the volume knob went away. So that means ambulance just buffered, man. It just came back, but it was buffering. It was definitely buffering. Everything else is playing, though. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let me check back in with that system real quick. Let me see what's going on. 75 watts. Uh, still at 99.9. <laughs> I think still at 99.9. It ain't budget off there. So let's see if we can go one more movie. Let's see. Let's see. It's not really looking good. The nun gonna scare these transcodes off, man. Come on now. 
Now, I didn't really see this one yet. This is one of the movies I really have to watch. One of my favorite actors on there, Storm Reed. That's one of my favorite, you know, young talents coming up, man. She's real good at what she do. Ever since that TV show I was watching with her, um, I forgot the one, the one with Zanaya. Oh, it buffered again. It buffered again. Yeah, that's a dub. That's a dub. It bu ambulance buffered again. It's buffering. Yeah, that's a dub. So it's trying right there, but it's it's a dub. It's a dub. Um, let's see. Let me see. I'm just force this transcode and see what happened. But when it buffers, that's basically it. It's over. Um, so where are we up to? We up to ten movies, ten Blu-rays right now. Yeah, this none one probably ain't even gonna go through. It probably not even gonna go through. Um, right now it's direct streaming. We already forced the transcode. Probably not gonna go through. Hold on. Yeah, it's trying it. Yeah, that's a dub. So ten, we tapped out really at nine. I want to say, honestly, for this right now, let me think. I want to say seven or eight would be what I will call the limit for this particular one. Yeah, everything freezing up. So I would definitely put this as let me just stop this. this that's the dub. Um, comfortably, I would say seven transcodes it can handle. Comfortably, that's what I will put it to seven transcode for the 10 400. Now, remember that if you're using all Rebux movies, you'll have a different you. It'll be completely different for you if you're using all Rebux movies. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do the stream transcode just you can, just so you can see. But I'm going to fast forward through it because I don't want this to be a long drawn out. A long drawn out video so i'm gonna f definitely fast forward but i want to show you the difference between hardware transcoding and stream transcoding real quick all right so this one we're gonna we're gonna take it off that and we're gonna put it to auto put that to unlimited and that should put it at stream transcoding hopefully let me see if it go through All right, so as you can see, this is just three of the movies. We're no longer doing hardware transcoding. We're doing software transcoding. So it's using the total CPU instead of the iGPU. The iGPU is doing nothing. And look at it. We're only transcoding three movies and we're at 100%. Seven gigabytes of RAM being used, 100% usage. And if you go down, let's see how much wattage we're using. <laughs> do you see the difference that's the difference between hardware transcoding and software transcoding with only three blu-rays being transcoded we're utilizing 122 watts so it's definitely cheaper to use you know hardware transcoding you know what i mean in the long run it's going to definitely save you money because we're only t three movies in now, if you're someone that is just you and one other person or two other people and, you know, the most transcodes you're doing is two at the most, then it definitely works out. But look at the difference. Right. We're only at three Blu-rays and we already tapped out. Whereas before we, we was up to what, seven, eight, nine, ten transcodes. That's the difference between the two guys.